right, I think we're good. All right, cool. Um, okay, so welcome to tonight's team call. This is the Girl Boss Empire and Team Living Healthy and Fit team call and tonight we're going to be talking about planning out your month the importance of planning out your month and helping you girls to work through planning that so hopefully you have a calendar printed off or you have your day timer or whatever you use to schedule out your month so that we can help you work through that um i'm going to go through a couple quick dates that you might want to mark on there and just kind of have a heads up um super saturday is coming up um, on uh, October 20th. Um, if you are in the Toledo area, uh, ours is actually Sunday, um, October 21st, okay, with Ali Dar and um, Brad Bizjack. I always say his name wrong. <laughs> um, but that is our super Sunday. So check if you go into your coach online office, you click events, click super Saturday, find one near you because they are all over the country and plug yourself in. Okay. So super Saturday shift shop proving grounds is launching. If you didn't, I didn't get the whole national wake up call yet this morning. Um, I will listen to the playback, but make sure you listen to that because it was with Chris. Um, and the FAQ on that is 3782. Also, Coach Summit is, um, they're doing a flash sale for a ticket. Anybody else see that? 145 to get your ticket. So if you don't have your ticket yet, get it. Like, get it now, because it's not going to be any cheaper than 145 So get your ticket for Summit. And I don't know if I'm cutting in front of you. Are you talking about the cash Go bonus? Ahead. Go ahead. So because I believe you are all diamond lifetime diamond and below, you can earn 200 travel bonus from hitting success club. Was it October, November, and December? I didn't look at the FAQs to find the full details on that. I yet, think it's but... like the three months. So hello. I mean, it's not even like success club 10. I think it's hit success club five over the next three months. So you'll have Christmas spending money and an extra $200 travel cash. So that's huge. Yeah. Yep. For sure. And the last thing I wanted to uh, mention is a little more obsessed is coming on October 8th. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm so excited for that. So those are some important dates that um, are coming up. So now we're going to talk a little bit about our topic, the importance of planning your month. And I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't do this. I haven't always planned out my month. I haven't always been really great about having a game plan. But let's be honest, even if you're a hobby coach and you're just working to earn a couple hundred dollars a month, or you're striving to make thousands of dollars a month or you know several thousands of dollars a month, you can't go into your business without a game plan right? We need to have a focus and we need to know what we're doing. Multi-million dollar companies and big companies don't just like shoot from the hip when it comes to marketing or what they're doing, when they're doing incentives, when they're doing sales, when they're launching new products. Beachbody doesn't just shoot from the hip when they're launching new products. They for years in advance have a game plan. So we at least need to be planning month to month. If not, you know, quarterly and planning out what we're working towards to achieve. Okay. So making sure that we do this. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Leanne and um, she's going to tell you a little bit about her plan and what she does. And I'll tell you a little bit about mine and then we'll help you girls work through making your own. So I will say to piggyback off of Corey, um, I have gotten into the habit of creating more quarterly type plans because all of a sudden like it, it just didn't matter what quarter of life it is like it's January February March I have like spring break for my kid or you have like a well beach body trips are more like April end of April um and then like April May June all of a sudden school is out of session like July August September back to school session and now you have October, November, December, you have Thanksgiving, which most likely you're not starting a challenge group the week of Thanksgiving, you know, like maybe the week after. And so with Christmas and the holidays, and you just have to, 
it just kind of flows almost easier when you can look at three months at a time and say like, what's in here? Where do I need to move things around? Like, especially back to school, I know we're beyond that, but like hitting it early August because you know, a lot of moms for me, like demographic wise, they're going to be spending a lot of cash with back to school. And so all of a sudden they're like, I don't have any money. But at the beginning of August, they're still like in the group. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, really quick. Yeah, I'll just do that. Um, so I just use from Excel um, a calendar and I just like typed in like calendar and you can find one that fits best for you. And so what I do is I dump in like all of the team calls. Um, I didn't add in here, Faith School. <laughs> um, so I try and do things that like I know are going to be like big things like Super Sunday, things that we need to know. Um, you know, we talked about last week, we're going to be having a getting started right call as a team on Thursday. Um, so you want to have that on there. And so just like looking at it already, like I knew today and tomorrow and Wednesday, I need to be following up with people that were, that I was talking to about the coaching prospect and getting them signed up by Wednesday or Thursday so that they could hop in on that team call. Um, and then we have the new coach training starting on Monday. And then like the big thing, and I will share with you guys a little bit of my failure from last month. Um, in order to maintain Diamond, um, I had to focus on recruiting. And so I didn't have a plan for the month. And so I just was kind of flying by the seat of my pants and like, okay, well, I need a coach here and I need a coach there. And so that's all I was talking about. I am not a super strong recruiter yet. And so for me to expect to hit success club 10 with recruiting was not going to be likely. Even if I was putting like going all in, we know it takes 60 to 90 days to really get that going. So I focused on getting coaches like the whole month. And then all of a sudden the last week, I'm like, Corey, like I just have to go all in on challenge group because I don't have 10. And I end yesterday with two points like so I knew going in okay Leanne you have a ton of conversations going on you need to focus like I am right now focusing on getting to be mindset certified I am through the majority of my things so I'm like okay the fifth I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna have a to be mindset group starting on the 15th that's like what I'm super passionate about right now and then because I love um, Chris and he lives 30 minutes away. I'm like, I kind of want to do shift shop. So I'm going to have like another group here. So I have those groups set. Um, and then I have like our Emerald in 24 hours and the coach sneak peek in red. So again, I'm focusing on, okay, I've got to have people. Um, the thing I have not done to the next level yet. Um, so I put in like, hey, I will be at Success Club 10 by the 11th so that I don't have to worry about it and freak out and let it ruin my whole day. Um, so I'm gonna like, okay, land five people and then I will have a goal of another five people to hit 20 um, with Shift Shop and then get six new coaches. So I have like some goals, some notes um, that I wanna do. But then taking it kind of to the next level is kind of putting in, when am I going to do those hooks? When am I going to say like, hey, I have a group kicking off on the 15th. It's so hard when you're, when you're just blindly inviting people and you don't have that game plan. You're like, oh, if you put a date on the calendar and say my challenge group is starting this day, no matter how many people I have, I will almost guarantee you, you will hustle to get that many people there. Like, because you, sh and especially if you've shared this calendar with me or Corey or your upline, like, okay, I just have to have that firm date and then just kind of work backwards to be like, hey, to be mindset, they could, I mean, probably the goal is purchased by Thursday. So then they have 
you know, some time to get their Shakeology, but we know what to be. They don't necessarily have to have all of that stuff to get started. Um, but so then you kind of work backwards and figure out, you know, when your cutoff date is, when are you doing your last call post, when are you sharing transformation posts to get people really engaged. So that is how I do my calendar for the month. Corey, would you like to add anything? Yeah, so um, I actually, um, I'm a pencil and paper kind of girl. Um, I just like to visualize and write it out as I'm thinking of the different things that I want to work towards and writing out all my posts. Um, so I'm sorry if you can't visualize it, but I'll kind of tell you how I work my month. Okay. So kind of like Leanne was saying, it's this time of year is, um, an ebb in the business. Okay. It's kind of a, a slower time because, um, the kids did go back to school. Your life was probably crazy with kids going back to school, new routines. You kind of maybe slow down a little bit on invites. September is always a hard month. Like it, it just always is. It always has been in my business as well. It's, it's a hard month. But then in October, things start to kind of move forward again a little bit. Um, and then obviously the first of the year is like, bam, that's hot, hot time. But you guys, I will be 100% honest with you. The work you put in right now is going to determine where you start growing in January. Don't wait until the last second to start those conversations and build those relationships because come January 1st, when people are ready to get on the health ball, you want to be the first person that they think of. And that starts with building the relationship now. Okay. So the way that I work my month so that I can focus on both challenge group and coaching is I talk about and invite to challenge groups the first two weeks of the month, because it is my goal to be at success club 10 in my business by the middle of the month. Okay. By like the 15th, I don't have an exact day, but I like to have it locked in the first two weeks of the month. And then I start talking more about the coaching opportunity. Okay. So my challenge group is also starting on October 15th. Okay. That gives me two weeks. Really. I, um, I have my last call for the group on the ninth. I like to have my people enrolled, um, almost a full week before. Yes. With BOD, um, we can get them into a group and they can have access right away. Um, but I, I start my prep on the 10th for a group to start out on the 15th. So I don't want my girls to like sign up on Saturday and then be like, feel like they're behind when they get into a group. Does that make sense? So a good week before I'm doing my last call. So the whole week before that, I'm talking about my transformation. I'm talking about, um, why I choose wellness. I'm just giving you some ideas of what I'm posting about each day. I'm talking about why I love challenge groups and how they've helped me change my life. Um, I'm talking about um, how I keep on track on the weekends or how I've progressed through my own journey. And so I'm sharing those little nuggets of information and then I'm doing a hook post. So I'm not hooking all the time. I'm generally keeping my hooks to Sunday, Monday, and Thursdays. Not always, but that's kind of my rule of thumb because Sundays and Mondays, people are all on Facebook. They're really engaged. They're, you know, slowing down and, and, and actually on Facebook, Thursday's payday, right? So you can kind of, you know, if that paycheck's already gone, you can kind of hit that cord with people on getting started with the coaching opportunity. Okay. And then I'm doing little nuggets throughout the week other than those days for hooks. And then, like I said, the last two weeks, I'm really talking about coaching. What has coaching done for me? What has the community done for me? Um, it holds me more accountable, okay? And then I have all the team calls in. I have what our um, coaching event is. I have the new coach training. I have all those things penciled in because this is a team effort, you guys. And if we don't show up, you guys don't show up. If you guys don't show up, it's no fun for us to show up. So it works together for all of us to show up and make this happen as a team. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Does that, can you think of anything else? I swore I thought of something and then I was like, 
I forgot it. <laughs> but as you were talking about post ideas, I was going into my calendar and like mm -hmm. adding them in. <laughs> Well, so I'll give you an example of what a week of a challenge group would look like for my calendar this month, because I try to change it a little bit. And then what a week looks like um, for coaching. So um, tonight will be a progress post with Hammer and Chisel, how I'm feeling I'm, while I'm doing this program. Um, it'll just be a progress post. Tomorrow will be a transformation call to action post, okay? Um, Wednesday is going to be why I choose wellness now, why I choose myself and making that time for me. Thursday is going to be why I'm thankful for challenge groups. Friday is just going to be a flex Friday fun, very lighthearted because most people are just kind of Friday is like the perfect follow-up day because people are just like, Oh yeah, whatever. They're not really like in invite mode. They're like ready for the weekend. So I try to make that post a little bit more lighthearted and it's not really a hook. Okay. Um, Saturday is going to be keeping on track on the weekends. And then Sunday will be why wait, another progress transformation type post. Um, Monday again will be having energy to keep up with my kids. And then on Tuesday will be my last call. So does that make sense how I'm like breadcrumbing why I love challenge groups, what they're doing for me? I'm showcasing the lifestyle. I'm not showcasing the product. I'm showcasing the lifestyle. I'm showing them what it's doing for me. And then I'm inviting them to join that lifestyle as well. Okay. And then, um, so when I go into, um, I had to find my week, sorry. So Monday on the 15th, I'm going to share about why I'm excited to start the challenge group with my girls. Now I'm talking more about coaching side of things. Okay. Then I'm going to on Tuesday talk about changing the world one person at a time because that's my mission. I'm going to talk about that vision. Um, on Wednesday, I'm going to do a coach shout out. On Thursday, I'm going to do a throwback on life before coaching. On Friday, I'm going to talk about it's actually the 19th and I'm going to talk about how 19 is my number. Um, on the 20th, I'm going to talk about a progress post. So it'll probably be more coaching how I've kept on track, you know, that sort of thing. And then on Sunday, I'm going to talk about how life has changed with income and freedom with a call to action. Because um, that week is when we have our what is coaching event. So now I'm really going to start touching those strings that really got me to start. Okay, with with my followers, then that money, I'm going to do a motivation for change. Um, I will do a transformation for your life call to action to the event on the 23rd. And then I will share on Wednesday more about my vision and the mission and then invite again to the what is coaching event. So does that kind of help you how it how I kind of sprinkle that in to plan out what to kind of talk about? You guys, you don't have to come up with a ton of crazy content anymore. It's not like when I first started coaching and you had to post three to five times a day. It was exhausting. It was exhausting. One good quality post that you take five to 10 minutes and pour your heart into it and breadcrumb a piece of your story. Okay. Cool. Did you think of what you were thinking or no? <laughs> No, but thank you for that because I now I have posting ideas versus just sitting there being like, huh, what am I going to post about today? Yeah. And I feel like it does take that pressure off of you when you just take a little bit of time and, and just know, like, this is when my dates are, this is when my last call is, what other stuff do I need to do? Like, I'm like, oh... I need to talk to so-and-so to see if I can share their transformation picture on Thursday. You know, like, so you just kind of have a plan. I feel like it just, it makes you feel more confident and empowered to, you know, rock October out. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, so I am huge on like needing accountability. I don't know why, but so, um, last October I talked with Meg, I'm like, Hey, I'm just going to send you like my numbers every single day. And she was like, all right, I don't care. Like she didn't even have to respond to me. I just knew like I have to send these, uh, this information to Meg every single day. 
And so I think October I ended probably with eight and then November I probably ended with like eight or 10 and then December hit and I ended with success club 18 and five new coaches because that effort that I put in in October, in November and in December, and it wasn't hours upon hours upon hours of time. It was like, Hey, I, I messaged 10 people and I invited three to a challenge group. And I talked to two about coaching. Like we're not talking huge numbers here. It was just something that I could do every single day, even on Saturday and Sunday to get me going. And that just built so much momentum. So just, if you're sitting there feeling like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to work today. Just say, I'm going to do this and it's going to pay off in December, like in, in January. So just keep on doing it now. For sure. It's consistency. Consistency is, will always be the secret sauce and anything that you do. It's showing up and being consistent. It's not going all in and then disappearing for a week and then all in and then disappearing for two weeks because you know what that does? That shows inconsistency and people are not going to trust to follow you because they don't know if you're coming or going. They need to know that you're slow and steady and you show up, that you're dependable and you're going to keep showing up. People look for that and they watch, even if they don't like and comment on your stuff, I promise that they are watching. Um, so the other thing I was going to say really quick is even if you don't have a transformation yet, or maybe you don't have that big income yet, you can share other team members. Like ask, hey, can I share your transformation post? Can I share this? We're all a team. So um, is, I know my team, I have several of my transformations in an album and it tells exactly how I felt, what I lost, whatever, so that you're welcome to use them. or share um, somebody that you find inspirational. Say, this is where, you know, this is where Leanne's at right now and I can't wait to be there. And that reminds me of, you guys, somebody is dying to be where you are right now. Whether you feel like you're killing it and doing amazing or you're struggling, whatever, somebody is wishing that they were where you are right now. So keep that in the back of your head and be grateful that even if you're struggling right now, there is a reason. It's a season and you will move past it. Okay? Don't cry. You're good. I'm laughing because every freaking thing I read, book, separate books, separate conversations, it's like you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now. And I'm like, all right, well, I, still I got it. Didn't like it, but. Like, can we move out of this? What do you want me to learn? Let's just stop. Just tell me what you want me to learn so we can move on. Can you just give me the memo, please? Thanks. He is. The memo is to be patient and trust the process. That's the memo. Oh, but we can, at the same time, we can trust the process and still hustle our asses off. Yes. Like, you know, I talked with Taryn and, and Corey. Like, I invited 45 people last week. Like, and there were, I was tracking it differently. So I knew like last week was 45, but typically I don't really struggle in September's though. So typically that, what would we know? Like one in 10 purchase. All right. You should have like four new customers. You should have nailed it, but I didn't. And I'm like, all right, well, I look at all these 45 conversations, one purchase. So 44 conversations that I'm having that will turn into future customers. So we can trust the process and be okay with the season that we're in, but we can still hustle at the same time and be okay with the results. Yes. Amen to that. Okay. So our call to action then is to have your calendar and fill it in tonight. Um, fill in when your next challenge group is. Put those important dates that we shared at the beginning of the call. Let us know what Super Saturday you are attending, okay? Um, and I already said when your new challenge group is. And um, I think that's it, right? A new code training starts Monday get people signed up if you have any people that were interested in coaching um, we'll have that information for that getting started right zoom 
I'm assuming we're doing a Zoom. Um, on Thursday, we'll be posting that in our team pages and just get really excited because Corey and I are really excited about this new coach training. Um, and even if, and I encourage you, I think we both encourage all of you to be in on that as well, because I know I'm excited to just go through it again as like a great way to just get into the habit. Like, so kind of the same, like one of my coaches always struggles, like getting into a new program and she'll be like, I'm struggling. She just goes right back to 21 day fix, builds that confidence for those 21 days and then can rock out whatever program. But for whatever reason, she just feels comfortable, like, hey, I can do this. And so it's just a great refresher to get you, get you a little win and, and feel good. So yeah, and I'm being there. So let us send us Erin and Taryn. I always laugh because I have coaches that have, like, we have a lot of name similarities and those two with the way they both spell their name, it always, mm -hmm. Like my Erin and my Taryn are here. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, I'll be out, looking for your calendars. Yeah, plan out your month and then a screenshot it and send it to us, please. So that that way we can maybe help you decide on something if you're struggling on where to put like last call or your hook posts or whatever. Um, but plan it out so that that way you have focus. Okay, and that you are committed to showing up this month and, and making yourself do it. I don't have my phone. I don't know what I did with it when I, I ran in. So we have to take a picture. Smile, ladies. I'll let Erin finish her drink. <laughs> Taryn has to look up. Taryn, I'm sorry, I have to ask. Do you have a glittery, what is in the background? It looks like a glittery reindeer. I'm going to take a picture of her frozen like that. <laughs> deer? Is it's it a freezing. Darn it. Reindeer? Is it? No, it's a regular deer. Just a deer. It looks, it looks like glittery and it looks, looks like a chandelier from like the way I'm seeing it. And I like decorate for Christmas with all like reindeer stuff and Justin and my brother-in-law and my brother all move my reindeer throughout. So if you go to the bathroom in my house, like there's going to be a reindeer sitting there waiting for you. All right. Smile, everybody. Hey. <laughs> all righty, friends. I'm going to post this on my and tag you guys. Dawn, what's your Instagram name? Dawn.Hust. Okay. Really hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's good branding. Yes. People won't have to question, what was her screen name again? Why right. did I find her? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you girls for being on the call. We are really excited to keep the momentum going and to help all of us keep focused and growing till the end of the year. We're going to rock it out and finish up 18 strong, right? Yes. Whoop. All Cheers right, to a fabulous October too. Whoop. Let's do it. All, all right, right friends. Have a good night.